you know, my mother's dementia um, and the, the risk of her benefits possibly being taken away from and the baby coming into this world and me having to worry about in 18 years, how am I going to pay whatever tuition is going to be then. I had an opinion on all the things that you guys asked us about today. Nobody cared because I was the DA. I was a one-issue guy. Nobody's in favor of crime. And the people who are lost their right to vote. So um, now I have an opportunity to have an impact on those things. And in 2008, I still had felt there was things I wanted to do in the DA's office. I am satisfied now. If I stayed, I'm up for re-election this November. Uh, if I ran and was fortunate enough to win again, there's still other things I would do. But now I have an opportunity to be a, have an effect on so many aspects of people's lives, so many aspects of our community, our city, our region, that I don't have as the DA, and that's why I'm doing it. I know Staten Island. I've, I've had a, uh, a really close relationship with Staten Island, and that presence is what I want to bring back to Staten Island, particularly at this time, when it's such, it, it, the stakes are so high. The stakes are so high because uh, what is happening in Washington now without a representative from this area, um, it, it will impact us greatly in the negative. And to not have a representative down there now fighting to make sure that doesn't happen is really outrageous. We really need someone there tomorrow, actually. So the fact is May 5th can't come soon enough. Um, and I have this opportunity to come back to Staten Island, to be part of this uh, community, and to give that same presence, optimism, and sense of duty that I had as a state senator, again, as a, a U.S. congressman, but do so in Washington on the issues that affect us, to give voice to those, <clears throat> to those issues that affect us here in Staten Island. So that's why I want to run.